Hello, welcome to the third session of Sketching Outdoors. Today we're going to be looking at a few playful techniques you could use. Firstly, we're going to look at um, wax resist. It's quite a loose technique. Um, here you see a white oil pastel and wash is put on and where the wax is, um, the, uh, the wash doesn't go basically. And then it's been drawn back into to sort of accentuate it. So it's quite a nice way of getting that light and dark sort of feel in that picture. Um, and there's a much, much messier one, you know, using black oil pastel and then lots of colours washed back in. Um, but if you don't have oil pastels, you can just use um, a bit of candle wax. And that's what I'm going to be doing. So picking up a little bit on what I was interested in last time, um, these aren't shaped windows. Um, I seem to have a thing about arches. So I, first of all, I've sketched them out roughly in pencil. Again, it, I'm not worried too much about getting the proportions exactly right. And now I'm going to start working back over with this white. It's going to be rough and ready. So I've worked back over that with um, candle wax. So usually these tea lights, which has got quite a sharp sort of edge, which hopefully means I've made fine lines, but of course you can't see any of it. Uh, so now to work back in, uh, and I'm going to start with some sort of blue on the inside of here. Dried that wash and now I'm going to start drawing back into it. I can just about get away with a pen. So it gives it quite a nice sort of uh, dappled effect to some of the, the light on there. Um, now this version I'm going to do slightly differently. Um, I put initial wash on and then again I'm using the um, what you call it candle to just sort of draw back into there. So hopefully you can see where the resist is, the original wash colour uh, comes through. And now I'm going to just work back into it, this time with um, colour pencils. So quite a nice sort of loose reflection sort of feel and also the mottling on the stone that, that I created. Um, now, as I said, obviously, I, I do quite like arches at the moment. And just because you, you're sketching outdoors doesn't mean that you can't experiment and play. Um, I'm just going to show you a picture of mine, which is... Um, all about arches and this idea of, of maybe taking these shapes and just playing with them and I think that's what I'm going to um, do from here is actually do something a little bit more experimental um, 
based on these, but just maybe play around with the art shapes overlapping them and see where that takes me. So I've started by just playing around a little bit with those shapes, repeating them, distorting them, simplifying them a little bit. And now I'm going to work back in using um, some of this sort of wax resist techniques in there and, um, and see where it goes. I think for this though, I will use my favorite three oil pastels, which I have stashed away in my um, pencil case. So I had quite a bit of fun playing around there and um, looking about with colours too, just because um, when you're outdoors, you, you know, uh, a building, for example, with certain colours, doesn't mean you have to stick to it. You can be as playful as you like. Um, it's still observation in there in terms of getting um, ideas for the shapes, but you can have lots of fun with them too and just play around with them. The second technique that um, I want to have a look at is um, incorporating collage in your sketches. A very simple thing that you can use to add just a little bit of extra texture in your work is um, torn masking tape. You can see in this sketch here, it's produced the sort of the background texture for this um, wall. Um, and here is another one. I think I've got to turn that that way around. I'm looking at a kind of very old distressed wall, but the masking tape um, forms this sort of texture running down it. And this, by the way, the white um, is Tipex, not from a pen, just from a bottle. Um, very handy for a white because it dries very, very quickly. The other thing you can do is use various sort of found papers or take some uh, papers with you. I have a little packet of 
uh, bits of torn paper and so on and a prit stick so that it dries nice and quick um there's an example just using brown paper um looking at some uh, fallen logs on the beach I flick through this a little bit further. Here's another one, um, torn little bits of map, uh, which have been used in this, um, this landscape study. you notice as I go through those that many of these become a little bit more abstract. So this one based loosely on the layers in landscape. And this one based on you know, sort of green hills and so on. You can just about see the text, little bits of um, magazine that have been torn up <clears throat> and a little bit of brown paper. This, on the other hand, based on roofs and quite a lot of oil pastel in there, as well as washers and pencil over the top of that collage. And this one, finally, oh, no, not quite finally, a few more. Um, but playing with um, collage papers, and it's a sort of semi-abstract picture um, based on the roofs looking down on St. Ives. Um, again, looking at, at some rocks on the beach and looking closely at um, a bit of wall. And again, looking at stones. So you can see the sort of layer in the brown paper um, scribbling back in and so on. Um, however, just to pick up on things that I've done before, I'm going to um, base mine next study using collage on a bit of tree trunk. So I've got a few pictures here and I'm going to pick them out uh, and then do some collage with something I'm going to draw into. So I'm looking at this tree trunk because of that lovely twist in it. Um, first of all, I'm actually going to just spend a few minutes doing a quick sketch of it just to sort of get a feel for it. That very quick sketch just helped me get a, a feel for that, the sort of twistiness and overlapping uh, nature of that trunk. And now I'm going to start um, developing a bit of collage to use around it. Um, I'm using a bit of old wrapping paper, brown wrapping paper, old envelopes, anything that's a newspaper, all very, very useful. I'm just going to start by tearing some strips. And just try to see those where those strips might go.
So that brown paper creates a, a, a nice structure that you can kind of work your way over. Um, and, you know, it, it helps give that sort of three dimensional feel to the to that trunk. But now I want to do something a bit looser and more abstract and um, again using collage and combined other things uh, based on these sort of lovely red trees and so i'll show you what i've got to start with i've got uh, bits from food a food magazine sort of the saturday supplement and uh, a football page because of that red and i'm going to um, start tearing these pieces up and using them so, In my little bag of scraps, I also found um, this sort of tournament old experiment. I thought that was quite nice to put in the background. So that is my collage, and now I want to work back into it. Obviously, you can still see it quite clear as a tree, but it's it's a very very loose sort of interpretation. So I'm going to work back in with perhaps my favourite red oil pastel, some coloured pencils, a bit of paint, and let's just see what happens. That's all for this session. Um, in a moment, I'm going to show you some other examples of, um, of students doing using collage uh, in their um, in their artwork, different subjects. Um, but the most important thing I'd like you to take away from this session is the idea that just because you're sketching outside doesn't mean that you can't be playful and have lots of fun with it. Um, use the world around you as inspiration. Um, but you can be as as loose uh, as you like you can play around with things you can make up your own colors and so on so look forward to seeing you on thursday and let's have lots of fun Ta -da.